大家好，我是 Dom， 欢迎来到哈密巴中文官方频道。以下是我的免责声明：此演示仅用于教学和教育目的，使用的任何参数仅用于演示。我们的内容不构成任何金融、财务或投资建议。每个用户都要对自己使用和配置哈密巴以及参与流动性挖矿负责。这是我们的第七期节目，主要给大家介绍一下如何选择正确的市场进行做事。这期节目我们还是用麦克的视频作为素材，那我们开始吧。Is because market making is a competitive sport. You're not just competing against the market. There's also other market makers out there that、um, you're competing with. Some of these are professionals as well as individuals. And so if you go into it unprepared,、um, you know you're likely to lose money.、Uh, but if you do pick the right market, it's like being in pole position. Um, it gives you an advantage that skews the odds、uh, in your favor. So, when we talk about market selection, there's three things that we believe people should take into account. The first is how how large the opportunity is, which is measured by spread times volume. The second is、uh, we think users should take into account the size of the market. So, picking the right size, not too big, not too small, is important. And finally,、um, you should take into account the fees charged on the maker side versus taker side. And also, what incentives are available for makers? So, by spread times volume, what we mean is that、um, the spread, which is the distance between your、um, highest buy price and the lowest sell price, that spread is really where your where your source of income is as a market maker,、uh, because you want to buy low and sell high. Now,、um, the, how much money you make is based is driven by volume. So,、um, the more Traders are in the market. The more volume there is,、um, the more money you make. And so that's why、um, the classic definition of profitability in market making is spread times volume. But what, what the one thing here is that because volume is so large at the big exchanges, if you look at Binance, you know these guys have they're getting four billion dollars a day in volume. And Huobi also has three billion dollars. And so these this, these are much larger numbers than some of the smaller exchanges. And so.、Um, If you just kind of apply spread times volume naively, it's going to push you into market making for the most active pairs. But what we found is for individual users,、um, some of the smaller markets may actually be better because the large markets is where the professional market makers play.、Um, these guys have very sophisticated algorithms.、Uh, they have tons of capital, and they're also paying much lower fees because、uh, they have VIP status at the exchanges. So as an individual, you're probably better off. Playing in a smaller market, so either in an altcoin market on the largest exchanges, or、um, like the Bitcoin market in a smaller exchange, because because you, you'll face less competition,、uh, the spreads are wider, and and then usually there's still enough volume for individuals to make a decent amount of money with smaller capital amounts,、um, and and so、uh, and Hummingbot. This is why we we not only support the largest exchanges, Hummingbot. But we also,、uh, because it's an open source project, we allow kind of anyone to kind of build a connector、uh, onto us. So、uh, we here are the ones in this top list we support.、And、there's also a number of smaller exchanges we support as well. But even within there, I think another way you can,、um, another tool you can use to find good markets is CoinGecko. And CoinGecko has、um, a couple columns I really like in their data.、And、the first is spread, so they show you the spread for each market. Um, they also have columns for plus two percent depth and minus two percent depth, and what this represents is how much capital is sitting on the order book within two percent of the mid price. And so it's a good、um, it's a good kind of like、uh, estimation of how much competition you'll face from other market makers if you're if you're market making in that market. And so you can see there's a pretty big difference even in the Bitcoin、um, USDT pair for liquidity. Across different exchanges, you know, Binance,、um, there's 1.8 million of of orders, you know, within kind of like you know above two above mid price, and then you know, there's 1.4 within two percent、uh, below the mid price.、Uh, but some of these other exchanges have much less, you know,、um, less much less competition. However,、uh, you know, some of these some of these exchanges are, are may may not be you know very reputable ones. So please use caution when picking、uh, the right exchange. Another thing you can do is look at altcoins on the most active exchanges,、uh, because even though if you look at Bitcoin here, it's a very liquid market on Binance, 
uh, with almost four million of liquidity, you know, within two percent of the order price um, of, of the mid price. But a, a an altcoin like Solana, um, you know, even the most active pair on on Binance only has about twenty thousand dollars, you know, of competition within two percent. So this is a good sign that um, th- like a, a market like Solana, uh, you'll face less competition. And therefore, in this market may be more appropriate for individual market makers with smaller balance sheets. And, and the third thing that um, you want to take into account are fees. So uh, this is the fee schedule for Coinbase Pro. Um, and and we, we, basically, the taker fees are the fees that normal traders would pay when they um, just trade. And then maker fees are the fees that market makers pay uh, when we place orders on the books and those orders are then filled. Uh, what's interesting about Coinbase is that the fees are pretty high, but they go down very dramatically um, at large capital amounts. Uh, but this is actually bad for individuals because for those of us with you know not a lot of money, we're paying you know these kind of fees up here. But um, for hedge funds, they're paying you know these kind of fees. So on the maker side, uh, you know there's a 50 basis points difference between the fees that you're paying versus the fees that hedge funds are paying when they market make on Coinbase. On the other hand, if you look at Binance, Binance's um, overall fees are lower. So their base fees are 10 basis points, um, maker and taker, uh, and they drop down to seven and a half basis points if you pay with BNB. And so um, here, the difference between the, the individual, like the highest level and the lowest level is much smaller. So um, on the maker side, there's only there's an eight basis point difference, and there's only a six basis point difference if you pay with BNB. And so... That's why in Binance, um, I think for the opportunity for individuals is greater because there's a much less different, there's a much lower difference in fees between what you're paying versus other uh, professional market makers in that same venue. And finally, incentives are a big part as well. So um, at Hummingbot, we rolled out a program called uh, Hummingbot Miner, uh, which, which rewards, um, you know, which rewards anyone to market make for specific pairs. So far, uh, we were it's just running on Binance. And so you can see that um, the rewards per day column shows you how much rewards we pay out on a daily basis to market makers. Uh, now these rewards may not cover, you know, may not be the source of profit by themselves, but we have found that they do generally cover fees paid. And, um, and so they're they're a bit of a carrot for you to uh, market make in these markets. And we feel like uh, we have seen that they do help users achieve profitability in certain cases. So those are some considerations you have, you should think about when you're uh, picking a market. So to recap, um, I think the basic equation is spread times volume. But then after that, I think picking the right market is good. Um, so not too, not too big, uh, but also not, not too small. Uh, and then finally, um, knowing, you know, kind of like knowing what, what, what fees you're paying versus other, what other market markets are paying is a good way to think about kind of like competition uh, and where you want to compete and where you don't. So, so that's hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Um, and if you have any questions, please uh, let us know in the comments. Thank you.